What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna be talking about why your portfolio actually doesn't matter as much as you think it does and what you need to do instead to get more clients. If you don't know me, my name is Eric Darren. I run Master Filmmaker and to date we've helped over 421 clients one-to-one, -one, that's just in our one-to-one -one stuff, uh, actually get more clients, build their business and build something that they love. And so in this video, we're gonna be talking a little bit more about why your portfolio doesn't really matter and what you need to be doing instead. Now, the main reason that people don't care about your portfolio when you're trying to go after more client work is because clients, like the clients our clients are trying to get are businesses. They're businesses that want content. They're businesses that need uh, content to grow. They wanna make an ROI or return on investment on the content that you're creating for them, right? So when it comes to portfolios, portfolios are really good when you're a DP, you're a freelancer, you're an editor, you're a gig worker, you're somebody who wants to um, you know, get more projects that way. Whereas what our clients are doing, they don't want to be a DP on somebody else's set. What they really want is they want to be able to go after a business client, get that client on retainer and get that person to pay them money on a retaining basis. That's B2B, that's business to business. When you're a freelancer or you're a... Uh, you know, someone who does gigs, which there's nothing wrong with, you are freelancer to business. So you're F to B. And so what that means is you're going from freelancer to business owner. And so when you want to go B to B, B to B is all, all about having an offer that solves a problem for the person that you're, you're giving that offer to. And so you're either B to B or B to C. B to B is B to business or business to business. Uh, B to C is business to consumer. And so in this business, when you run a video agency, you're trying to get video agency clients, they're typically other businesses. And the reason that's important is because other businesses want an outcome. And so if all you're doing is talking about your portfolio and how you're the best, you have the best quality, they're not paying for quality. What they're paying for is they're paying for a result. And so they want to know that they're going to actually make money or achieve some sort of result as a result of working with you, right? So... Um, Typically, what most people are doing, like I said, if you're a freelancer, see if my pen will work here, and you're going to businesses, then that's fine. Like your portfolio, I'm sorry, not businesses. Let me erase this. Da -da -da. You're typically working other under other production companies, right? And so for this, a portfolio is going to make sense. Excuse me. A uh, portfolio is going to make sense here because you're going after, because they're, they're hiring you to do one thing. Like if you're an editor here, right? They're hiring you because they want the best editor in the world, or they want the best editor. They want to know the quality of your work. If you're a DP, they want to know the quality of your work. If you're going as a video agency, right, or production company, that's what these guys are doing to their clients as a side note. Let's make a little thing here. Clean this up. So let's say you're a video agency. Video agency, right? And you're going after businesses who need content, they don't care about your portfolio because they're looking for a make money outcome. And so there's like three main things that people pay for, right? So you have money, like the reason people buy things are because of three main things. So you have money, you have relationships, and you have health. Anything you buy can be boiled down to these three things. So you either buy something because you want to make more money, you buy something because you wanted to improve your relationship, or you buy something because you want it to improve your health. And so with relationships here, for this, let's just boil this down like in the world of video, right? Um, health may not make sense, but relationships are gonna be when you film wedding videos, right? And so the couple is hiring you because they want to capture their relationship. They're not looking to make money from that. Whereas with money, this is gonna be businesses. Businesses hire you to create content that makes them more money, directly or indirectly. And if you're not, if you're not tying that in in some way, or you know, showing them that you can help them do that, then you're going to be capped at a certain level of income every single month um, and per project because you're not actually showing them how they're going to make a return on your content. And then health is not really a, applicable to the video world, but like this is if you joined a gym, right? If you joined a gym, you want to improve your health. Businesses hire you because they want to make money, and then you'd shoot weddings for people because they want to capture their relationship. Now. The reason all this is important is because, like I said, the portfolio is going to make sense when you are a freelancer or a gig worker going to work for a production company. Whereas the video agency, for this, they want to know about your results. So they want to know about case studies. So do you have anybody that you've done work for before 
and you've created content that helped them get a result. I want to see proof of that. This is what we call social proof. And so it boils down to having good case studies, having a really good offer, and then having a way to get people into that offer, which is going to be lead gen. So let's kind of clean this up a little bit. So if you're a video agency and you want to make more money, you want to get more clients, what you need to be focusing on is getting case studies, having a really good offer that's clear, that shows what you can do, and it's a, it's a really clear and defined offer, and having really good lead generation. In other words, how do we turn someone from a lead to a call to a client? How do we do that? So you need to have a system. So if you're spending all your time working on the portfolio, you're just simply spending all this time working on the wrong things. And those things are not going to make you more money. And this is why people spend a bunch of time on something that doesn't actually make them any more money. And then they wonder why next year they're in the exact same spot that they're in right now. Because at the end of the day, your business is like a pipe, right? And so let's say your business is a pipe. And so up here is leads. This is calls. This is clients. And clients equal money, right? So if you're... Let's say that you're, let's use some colors here. Let's say your pipe is blocked up here and the water can't get through here. It's stuck, right? So it can't get through. Now, what you should be focusing on is fixing this problem here, which is getting more leads. But instead, if you're focusing on, you know, let me focus on my portfolio over here, portfolio is not even in the pipe. And so you're focusing all your time on this thing here and then you're wondering why you have the best work in the world, but it's not actually getting you more clients. It's because you're not actually focusing on the thing that you need to focus on to get more clients, which is leads, calls, which turn into clients. It just, it, you know, this is something that I've, I've had to teach a lot of people and I went through myself, which I understand why it's confusing sometimes. But it's like, if you're literally working on the wrong thing, which is this thing over here, and it's not the bottleneck or the constraint of the business, then you're not going to make any more money. Your business is not going to grow. And then you're going to be wondering why you're going to be over here with a pouty face, wondering why your business isn't growing, even though you have the best work in the world. So um, hopefully that makes sense, guys. I just, this is something I'm passionate about. Um, I had a couple calls the past couple weeks with people who are just struggling a little bit um, on, you know, what the main bottleneck is in their business. And I figured this would be helpful. So if you have any questions on this, let me know. And shameless plug, if you want to learn more about how we help video business owners like this, there's a link down below. Check it out. Book a call with our team, and we'll see if we can help.